This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason County Public Health and Human Services Prevention Education Partners Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, helping provide prescription drug kickback boxes in Mason County and providing lockable bags for your prescription drugs, cannabis, and vape products. Mason County PUD 3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Mason County PUD number one, Washington State's first public utility district, providing safe, reliable, and valued utility services since 1934. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Well, good afternoon and welcome to High Climber Field on the campus of Shelton High School in Shelton, Washington. Today, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, has an Evergreen Conference baseball game featuring the Shelton High Climbers and the Rochester Warriors. My name is Diedrich Allen, and joining me for this broadcast are Jerry Apple and a new. How are you doing, Diedrich? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Shelton is 7-7 seven and seven on the season, 4-5 and five in the Evergreen Conference. Uh, Rochester has a 5-6 and six overall record, 2-4 and four in the conference. The Warriors beat the High Climbers yesterday 3-2 on a bases-loaded walk in the bottom of the seventh inning, taking the first game of the two-game series. And I'm going to preface this as a controversial walk because there's differing opinions on both sides. Sure. Some say it was clearly a ball. The other one says it was a strike. You know. And you're going to, you know, take it, take it with what it is. It's controversial. Uh, Rochester has won the last two games with Shelton as the teams split the season series last season and the season before. In 2021, the High Climbers took two of three games with the Warriors. The teams have played nine games against each other, and Shelton leads the series 5-4. Coming up, Jerry will get you the batting orders and the lineups. And, of course, the first pitch is Evergreen Conference Baseball, the Rochester Warriors at the Shelton High Climbers on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-9670. Extension 400. Hi folks, Deidre Callen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball, we bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. And we're back here at High Climber Baseball Field. Jerry, can you go through those lineups quickly? I sure can. Uh, for the visiting Rochester Warriors under the direction of Brad Kornstrom. Uh, leading off, number one, the left fielder, Ethan Rodriguez. Batting second, number four, the center fielder, Mason Ubius. Batting third, the shortstop, number two, Tate Kornstrom. Batting cleanup, the catcher, number three, Hayden Petrus. Uh, batting fifth, the pitcher, number five, Tyler Houston. Batting uh, sixth, the second baseman, number seven, Cole Smith. Batting uh, uh, seventh. Jerry, going to have to cut you off here. Okay. We'll get back to that in a minute. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. 
Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. All right, we had to uh, pause for the national anthem. And Jerry, uh, why don't Kip? you take it from the top? <laughs> well, Ethan Rodriguez uh, leading off. Playing left field, Mason Ayubias uh, playing center field, batting third. Tate Kornstrom, the shortstop, getting clean up the catcher. Hayden Petrus uh, batting fifth, the pitcher, uh, Tyler Houston. Batting uh, sixth will be uh, Cole Smith, second base. Batting seventh, the first baseman, Tate Martin. Uh, batting eighth, uh, playing third base is Henry uh, Grammels Patcher. And batting uh, ninth, uh, the right fielder, Colton Weiss and their head coach is Brad Kormstrom. And now the starting lineup for uh, the high climbers under the direction of Trevor Cahoon. Uh, leading off will be first baseman, number 13, Wyatt Wagner. Batting second will be number 22, the second baseman, Carl Turnbow. Batting third, the shortstop, Austin Williams. Batting fourth, the cleanup hitter, number 44. Third baseman, Matt Carlton. Batting fifth, number 31, uh, is uh, the pitcher. And uh, he, uh, number six will be uh, Jax Ward, the catcher. Uh, batting seventh will be Brad Evelyn, the left fielder. Batting eighth is the right fielder, number 14, Daniel Crossan. And batting ninth will be the center fielder, number 27, Colton Fisk. I want to point out that Crossan is a uh, freshman, I believe. Yeah, How and he's been yourself? doing pretty yeah, well, really. Right. Pitching. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. We're going to get some ball underway here. Beautiful day. What did you say? It was 60, 63. 63 and sunny right now. Uh, so, uh, and yeah. And no wind. No, not at the moment. Although, you know, the wind has not really affected these games at all. No. It just affects us. <laughs> the swirling winds. So, Brady Rhodes on the mound today. Uh, see how long he goes. I'm, I was told that he'll well, probably go maybe three or four innings. And then uh, Austin Williams will probably come in. Possibly. That's what I was told. That's what, yeah, that's, you're, you're correct. That's what I was told. Now, whether that actually comes up, we don't know. We don't, you know, we're not in the clubhouse. So, Aiden, how do you feel about all this? It's been a while since it's been a game we've called here, so. <laughs> nice to be back. Nice to be back. So, we'll get Aiden on some of these innings coming up as uh, Rhodes is going through his warm ups. Yeah, Rhodes' battery mate is Jack Ward, the yeah. catcher. Now, leading off for uh, Rochester is uh, number one, the left fielder, Ethan Rodriguez. And Ethan was zero for four last night. Did uh, a run, did score a run. You haven't figured out how he scores a run if he wasn't on the base pads. So well, I think what they're meaning there, no. No, he must have he gotten He did that and five and times? I, it, there was no indication of a walk on the score, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, oh, that, for, that first is confusing. Yeah, the first pitch is a ball. Unless I made a mistake. That's very possible. <laughs> mistake. You? Oh, yeah, I mean, Neckett's pitch is in there, and that's going to be strike one called. Just uh, low enough to <coughs> hit the strike zone. So one and one is the count to Rodriguez. Another pitch a little bit high for ball two, so uh, two and one. Sorry, folks, I've got so many devices in front of me, I don't know what to do. Should make Aiden do some of this. Yeah. Okay. Next pitch in there, it's strike two called, so two and two the count to Rodriguez. There is the 2-2. Two -two. That's going to be a pass ball. Gets all the way back to the back stop, so the count goes full. First time I've seen uh, Jax Ward lose a ball. Uh, he's done a good he's job for us defensively. He thought he stopped it, but it rolled right between his legs. So here's the 3-2 pitch. And that's going to be a leadoff walk. So one on and nobody out for the Rochester Warriors. And now up is number four, the center fielder, Mason Dubious. And Mason 
He was one for two last night, had a double, had an RBI. He walked twice and scored twice. All right. You know, this is when I do actually miss the tent because it's hard to see my devices. First pitch to UBS is inside yeah, that, for ball one. That's sun, quite a glare there, isn't it? Well, it's a matter of getting the right angle so I can see my devices. I've brought this uh, the color scheme up on this app uh -huh. with the developer and didn't get any <laughs> movement at all. <laughs> kind of got criticized by others. Looking through that. Next pitch, he's in there for a ball. If runner goes, and I think they, they get him. They did. They got him. So uh, nice. uh, Rodriguez is tagged out, sliding into second on the attempt to steal. So that's one away for the Warriors. Well, you just clarified what Jack Swartz capable of doing. Yeah. Threw uh, him out. Threw him out on the ball, so it's uh, one ball and no strikes. Make it two balls and no strikes. So I got to catch up here. So it's two and one. Pardon me, I'm way off here. So two and one, two balls, one strike, one out. Nobody on for the uh, Warriors. Top of the first pitch on the way, and there's a swing and a foul over the, well, actually up against the screen. So it's strike two, so two and two. That had quite an it had a chop on it, or a swing on it, that it looked like the trajectory was going to take it over the clubhouse, but it kind of hooked <laughs> and hits the screen instead. So two and two to UBS. So one out, nobody on, and a 2-2 two -two count to Mason Nubius. And that will be low and outside for ball three. So the count goes full again for Rhodes on the mound. The next pitch on the way, swing, and there's another foul off out of play. Luckily, we do not have a softball game going on. Not headed towards that way. There is busy here. We had a... a uh, Tennis match going on behind us. There's a track meet going on in the High Climber Stadium. Uh -huh. Baseball game here. The fast pitch team is down in Yelm, I believe. Strike three called, and that's out number two for the Warriors. And now up is your shortstop, number two, Tate Hornstrom. He's the third hitter uh, this inning. And Hornstrom was one for four last night, had a double, had an RBI. And he also pitched a couple innings, no runs, no hits, no walks. Wow, two, two strikeouts. Yeah. Pretty good. First pitch to Kornstrom, hit that outside corner for strike one. So one, two out, nobody on for the Warriors here. Top of the first, no score. Pitch on the way from Rhodes, that's low for ball two. Those kinds of pitches are pretty easy to call on the ball <laughs> when they're a little bit long. So one and one. Another pitch a little bit low for ball two. So two and one now to Cornstrom. Here's the kick and the throw from Rhodes. Another low pitch for ball three. So three and one. I'm wondering if the uh, scouting report on uh, Mr. Ubius is uh, keep him low on him. He swings at low ones because those last three pitches were low. Pitch on the way, swing, and a fly ball, center field. Fisk out there, gets under it, grabs it, and that'll do it for the Warriors here in the top of the first. We head to the bottom of the frame, no score. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. This is a first responder, and same here. But did you know that these are first responders too? The towing industry is 15 times deadlier than all other private industries combined. You see that? You can change that by following the simple rule, slow down, move over. It's the safe thing to do. And it's the law. Make our freeway safer. Slow down, move over. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. 
Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. And we head to the bottom of the first inning, no score. Shelton coming up, Jerry. Diedrich, I really like that move over law. They've made it a, a bigger, more important. They've uh, any type of emergency vehicle, tow truck, for example. Right, and yeah. even if there's somebody on the side of the road, you might as well move you over. Should. Out yeah, you should, yeah, you should. move over, that's, that's a good rule of thumb, and I think it's a good, good thing. Good thing, yes. Leading off for the high climbers will be number 13, Wyatt Wagner. He's the first baseman tonight. And uh, Wyatt uh, was 0 for 2 uh, last night, uh, did have a walk. So on the mound is uh, Tyler Hudson, and I don't think I have any information on Hudson as his last outing. I didn't go that deep into, uh, well, I'd have to go. Uh, Rochester's not on the Game Changer app, right? <laughs> so I'd have to go find one of their matchups with other teams and dig, dig deep. So I didn't, don't have any information. You on know, that. I like the rule that you cannot have, you see two different pitchers. That's why it's nice to have the back-to-back -back games. Right, right. So you don't see the their best pitcher each night, which would probably not be a good idea anyway. So the uh, Warriors are all in the infield, it's all in on the mound, outfield <laughs> out there. Sometimes I feel the outfielders are out of touch with the infielders, I don't know. <laughs> Because, you know, the infielders usually come in and huddle up. Okay, Wyatt Wagner. All right. Okay, I better get my uh, other stuff going here. Sorry. Too much to do here. So Wagner waits for the first pitch from Hudson. And he swing and he hits off high fly ball. Left field, or right field. That's out of here over the bullpen. And a leadoff home run for Wyatt Wagner. Makes it one to nothing. Rushed that ball. Yeah, he certainly did. Touch them all, as they say. One nothing. The high climbers strike on the first pitch to White Wagner. And in talking to the Rochester coach, uh, the pitcher for Rochester throws in the low 80s. So right. it'd be interesting to see what the velocity of that ball was I don't when it went think, out. I don't think we have that app today. We did have it in our last broadcast, but wasn't here. Here's Carl Turnbow, takes ball one. And he's a second baseman and uh, number uh, 22. Uh, Turnbow was 0 for 1 last night, had an RBI, walked and scored a run. Well, the second pitch hit him on the shoulder, so uh, Turnbow is going to head to uh, first base. So one in, nobody out, and one on for the high climbers. And now up is your third hitter of the inning. Uh, the shortstop, uh, number 30, Austin Williams. And last night, Austin was 0 for 3. He did pitch last night uh, yeah. at the very end. Yeah, had an earned run, one hit, yeah. three walks. Right, suffered the loss due to that controversial ball call. First pitch to Austin is a ball outside. I only say that because some people think it was, other people think it was a strike, you know. Go, we'll go back to that, but we're gonna, it's all in the past, folks. So you know what, my, my scoreboard is huge here. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Let's see if I could change that. Was oh, that a bulk? So Turnbow's gonna head over to, uh, yeah, second. So Turnbow heads to second on the bulk. And the coach is coming out to verify uh, why that was a balk, and he'll get a you know, umpire will let him know. Yeah, I was busy messing around with my uh, graphics, and I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to discuss it. Always discuss it. And I think it's a good idea to make sure that you get the explanation as a teaching moment as well. It is. Because I was not looking. I don't know if either of you saw. I, I wasn't no, paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Jerry's looking at his paper and I Aiden's just don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. I, have, I did not know what a bulk was until like last month. Okay, <laughs> well. I thought Matt Carlton explained it very well to me uh, after the game the last time here. Right. So one ball, no strikes, no out, one in, pitch on the way, and it's going to be high for ball two. You don't have a uh, stat for a bulk, do you? Can't write that down anywhere, aside from maybe on the base runner, right? Yeah, and I... Yeah. Next pitch on the way. 
That's going to hit the strike zone for strike one. So two and one the count. Yeah, right at the knees. So two balls, one strike. One in, one on, nobody out. Turnbow over at uh, second base. He's got a lead out there. He's danced around. Pitch on the way. It's outside for ball three. I remind you that Austin Williams is the batter. Carl Turnbow, the runner at second base. Wyatt Wagner led the inning off with a home run, solo home run. Over there to the short part of the field that we were told by one of the uh, yeah. last fans. Can't be 330. I think it's actually 275. And there is a walk to uh, Williams, so he'll head uh, to first base. I believe before they change this, uh, put the bullpen out there in the uh, uh, right uh, field, it was 275. Yeah, and Matt Carlton, the cleanup hitter, is up. Uh, he plays third base, also pitches a lot, has a, got a scholarship to go to Pacific Lutheran University. Congratulations to Matt. Um, you know, I've been to Yankee Stadium a couple times, and the Yankees always love to get uh, left-handed hitters because that uh, right field is so short compared to the left field. Right. And that's the situation we have here as I just ran through. I believe it's 275. I don't know. It might be 250 now, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot, it, he's right. It's a lot it shorter. It is a lot shorter. It is uh, 330 down the uh, third base line, and center field is at uh, 375. First pitch to uh, Carlton. He'll foul that one out of play over the clubhouse for strike one. And we don't have a measurement out there <laughs> yeah. in right. Yeah, it's not marked at the foul pole line. No, there. but I believe it used to be 275, if memory serves. Okay. I, I just think. So you might take uh, 15 feet off of that, maybe. I don't know. Next pitch, throw to first and diving back safely is Williams. He got to the bag. So the pitch was what? That was the ball. Okay. So one ball, one strike to Carlton at bat. Turnbow at second, Williams at oh, first, time. one in. Tight. With the time very high on the next pitch, it's ball two. 444. Thank you. Got lots of time, Jerry, don't worry about it. We just got underway. <laughs> I got clocks all over the place, actually. <laughs> okay. Got one here, got one here, got one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't look at him though. Here's the pitch on the way swing, and that's going to be foul. Nice move there, coach, to avoid that <laughs> line drive foul. So the count goes to uh, two and two. Turbo on second, and uh, Williams on first. Yeah. So the count is two and two to Matt Carlton, waiting for the pitch from Tyler Hudson. Here's the kick and the throw. Fastball, low throw to second, and a little high. And Turnbow is back safely. If that ball was a little bit low, to turn, low Turnbow, he would have nailed him. Turnbow, I think he slammed his head against the bag pretty hard. He's slow in getting up. Uh-oh. Uh. And coaching staff's heading out there. Carl's up in a seated, seated position. Just make sure uh, he does wear glasses, so they might have to make sure he didn't damage the glasses in that move as well. Or maybe he lost the lens. That would, yeah, that's hard to do on the run. So Carl stands up, puts the helmet back on. Yeah, I think they're looking for his glasses, his lens. Uh -oh. That's what I'm thinking. Everybody's looking at the ground there. I can't see Matt's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry might have a better view. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but he's okay, so yeah, that's he's a up, good news. He's up, he's ready to play. So, so what was that last pitch? It was a ball, wasn't it? I yes. think it's going to be three and two because it was two and two and two coming in. Let's see if he gives us the full count. Now he says it's still two and two. Hmm. Maybe it's delayed. I don't know. Pitch on the way, swing and a fly ball. That's out of play. I'm not even looking at this. I'm looking at the scoreboard. Uh, that's they're still two and two, so we're gonna go with a two and two count to Carlton as he fouled that last pitch off. Again, the runners are at the first and second, one in, nobody out for the climbers here. They're up one to nothing. 
Here's the 2-2. Swing and a fly ball. That one's going to hit the uh, batting cage building and how to play. You know, I was talking to Matt Carlton a couple times. I says, what are your goals this year besides making it to, to the playoffs? He says, a no hitter and a home run. So let's see if he can come up with something like that. Well, you know, next Shelton, couple games. Yeah, Shelton has not been known for the long ball. But in the years I've covered him, I can't, I don't think we had a home run last year. I don't think he did. I mean, no, I'm the whole team. Pitch on the way, swinging a fly ball. Again, that's out of play. And Carlton is just battling here. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Although I'm thinking it's three and two, but I don't think that the uh, <laughs> umpire counted that play with the throw down to second. Williams takes a lead at first turn, but there's a fly ball. That's going to go right to the glove of the left fielder, Rodriguez, and that's out to number one. And the runners head back. And now up is your pitcher, number 31, Brady Rhodes. Uh, Brady last night was one for three. And I believe he played first base last night. He usually does. It's either that or he's designated hitter. I don't remember what it was. I didn't write it down, Jerry. So here's the uh, first pitch to him. He swings and he fouls the first one off. First strike one. So one out, two on, one in for the high climbers here. Bottom of the first, they're leading one to nothing. Turnbow takes the lead at second. Williams the lead at first. Hudson looks back at second, goes to the pitch to the plate. It's outside, another throw to second, and it's off again, and Turnbow is in a little a bit of a rundown, challenging the shortstop. <laughs> Kornstrom and, Strum and uh, dies back safely. Yeah, Turnbow's having a little fun with them. Yeah, I think he was almost caught with the, the, that decision, do I go back, do I go? <laughs> and that throw was a little off, and uh, so that he kept him safe out there. You got, he you got, you got a wise choice. Yeah. Well, that patch was a ball, so it's a, or I'm sorry, a, a strike, so it's a 0 and 2 on the count to Rhodes, and he'll step off. But I'm sure that does bother the pitcher a little bit. Be more specific, Jerry. What? Well, <laughs> what the uh, second, what uh, Turbo is doing okay. there at second base lead up. That ball, ball gets away from the catcher. Uh, uh, and the uh, high climbers advance, so Williams goes to second turn, but is now on third. Yeah, definitely there needed to be a clarification there, thanks. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> That's why I asked. Could you well, please? I do. Uh, yeah. You knew what you were talking about. Yeah. Nobody else does, but <laughs> Jerry does. So one ball, uh, I'm sorry, one ball, two strikes to Rhodes. Runners in scoring position. High climbers leading one to nothing. Hudson now has... Uh, Two runners in his view. Pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball. That is headed for the fence. On the run out there, Rodriguez. That's a foul ball. Ooh, that oh, was just close. foul. Just to the left of the line by about a foot. Yeah, yep. But with quite a bit of speed out there by Ethan Rodriguez. He nearly got to that ball. Now that was a nice, uh, nice stroke there by Brady Rhodes. Yeah. Hard whack to the wood. So one ball, two strikes remains the count. One out, two on, one in. Runners and to second and third. Turnbow, the guy at third. Williams, the guy at second. Inside on that next pitch is ball two. So the count is two and two. To Brady Rhodes, Jack Ward on deck for the climbers. Next pitch on the way. Fastball outside and that, uh, well, that's actually, yeah. Also, they did catch up on the, the count there. So that'll be a walk, and the bases are loaded for Jax Ward. Uh, that was the second walk given up by the pitcher. And now Jax Ward, the catcher. Uh, and Jax last night, let's look and see. Oh, for one, I'm looking yeah, around. Yeah, but he walk. did have a walk. Yeah. yeah. Did get on base once. So the bases are loaded. One out, one in for the high climbers here. Jax Ward steps in to face Hudson. An important game for both teams when it comes to the playoff hunt. Boy, Turnbow likes to fake the runs. The first pitch to Ward is outside for ball one. 
just watching him out there at third base. He's getting into uh, Hudson's head a little bit. Yes. Do you have a pitch count there? Oh, you want a pitch count here? 24. It's a lot of pitches. Pitch on the way, swing. Uh, no swing. It's a low ball, uh, too. I thought he was going to swing. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have the uh, radar on this this time, Jerry, so I can't tell you how yeah. fast they are. That was a special thing that, uh, who Wait, was it? North Mason. <laughs> North Mason. Yeah. North, uh, yeah, there's a swing and a foul off. We are at North Mason. That was uh, North Kitsap, was it? Yes, Last the week? reliever. Yeah, 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 I oh, did. oh, he boy. was throwing the high 80s. Yeah, well, yeah. What it, it was mid 80s, and, yeah. and we were told he hit 90 at yep, one point in time. Exactly. The reason he hasn't been pitching a lot in varsity was because he's, his control. <laughs> control is a little bit off. He didn't seem that bad when we watched him last Friday. Thursday. So it's there. There's a throw to third. The ball gets away. Turnbull's going to step up and head in to score. Williams is headed to third. He'll slide in safely. So the high climbers add one in and have a runner over at second base as well. And that's uh, Rhodes. So it's two to nothing. And Turnbull definitely uh, created that uh, situation and scored, making the pitcher fairly nervous. And Jack Swart stepping back in. So it's uh, one ball and two strikes to Ward. Runners at second and third. Two in for the high climbers here in the first. Here's a pitch outside. Oh, they, they struck him out looking at uh, this home plate umpire. It's not very uh, dramatic in his strike <laughs> calls. And now up is uh, number three, Brad Evelyn, the left fielder. And uh, uh, Brad was uh, 0 for 3 last night. First pitch to Evelyn outside for ball one. So two out for the high climbers here. Two in and two on. Brad is the seventh hitter here in this inning for the high climbers. Here's the kick and the throw in a swing and a miss by Evelyn for strike one, one and one. Pitch on the way, and that's going to be a ball. That gets away from the catcher. Here's Williams coming in. I think they got him that time. They did. They got Williams coming in, and that'll end the inning. But the high climbers get two. Leave one. We head to the second. 2 nothing. Shelton. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Back in a moment. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-9676. Seven zero extension 400. And we're back for the second inning of play. Uh, do nothing. Um, yeah, Jerry had to go, so we don't have Jerry anymore. So Aiden and I will have to muddle through. And I can tell you that Hayden uh, Petrus is due up uh, to lead things off for the Warriors. And what, what is it? You got that sheet. Uh, what's his number? Make me <laughs> number three. Mm. Oh. Um, I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, he is the catcher. So I'm going to think since this is. He was two for three with a double and a walk. I'm only <laughs> guesstimating because these, these names did not. Did not <coughs> uh, do anything. So. All right. So Hayden will lead things off. The catcher. 
in first pitch from Rhodes. That's a strike one called. Okay. I'm going to have to have you at least read off who's next. Well, I got, I got too much to do here, eh? <laughs> All right. All right. Mayo foul the uh, second pitch off. Get their scoreboard back up here. Sorry, folks. It's so 0 2 to uh, Petrus. Or is it Petrus? I think it's Petrus. All right, this is not going to help me. I'm going to have to go with that. That's uh, all right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just add it to my list of things to do here. Next pitch on the way. That's going to be ball. Nope, that is a strike. So it's out number one. And looks like the second uh, strikeout for Rhodes. And that will bring up pitcher Tyler Hudson. And let me see if I can find out what he did as first pitch is high. Um, looking at the wrong thing. I think it's one for three. We'll go with that. Yesterday. Right, so next pitch in there for ball two. So now I'm to clear this out. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to catch up here. It's out number one. That's one away. Next pitch in there. First strike one. So two and one is the count to Hudson. Pitch on the way. Check swing inside corner. Strike two calls. So two and two. Yeah, that's an idea. Don't fight the wind. Work with it, right? Exactly. Next pitch on the way. That's going to be high. Oh, that's going to be a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for uh, Brady Rhodes. That'll bring up second baseman Cole Smith. And I lost my sheet. What do we have? For anybody look like Smith on One there? One for three. One for three, okay. A double, an RBI, All right. and an out. Okay, you can read my notes. Pitch on the way, low ball one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. It's a nice typed written thing, but you have no idea how hard it is to find some uh, information sometimes. I can't imagine. Sometimes. Yeah. So that's two away for the Warriors, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Next pitch on the way, swing, fly ball, center field. Fisk on the run, kind of jogging out there. He's going to glove it, and that'll do it. One, two, three for the Warriors here in the third, or in the second, excuse me. Getting we ahead of yourself. Yeah, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm, I'm waiting for you to take over. That's what it is. <laughs> this is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Back at the bottom of the second in a moment. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Might help if I hit the right button. We're back for the bottom of the second inning of play. Two nothing. Uh, high climbers with the lead. Coming to bat, leading things off will be Daniel Crossan, number 14, the right fielder. I think you have to go back to WF West. Yeah, he was 0 for 3 last Wednesday. Okay. And he will lead things off for the high climbers here. Pitch on the way, and it's high. Actually, that does not look like a, that's number three. That's Brad Eveland. He did not finish, that's right. He did not finish the at-bat, so it's Brad Eveland coming up. Now I'm cracking, so Eveland is leading off. Second pitch to him is going to be a strike on the outside, so uh, 
one and one. All right, so here's the one, one. Oh, just hit that outside corner first strike, do. So one and two is the count. To Evelyn. Pitch on the way. Fastball a little high for ball two. So two and two. So two balls, two strikes to Brad Evelyn, leaving things off for the high climbers. And that'll be a strikeout. So he struck out. And now here's Crossan. <laughs> so one away for the high climbers here. And we talked about Crossan in his last, was back uh, uh, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, yeah. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be two out. Is it two out or one out? There's a swing and it's a uh, one out. fly ball. And Hudson, nope, he's going to let his uh, Petrus' uh, catcher get that one. And that was actually, okay, he's got this all messed up because that was 34. Is That was Fisk. So I guess Fisk is wearing 34. I'm really confused now. What do we got? This is uh, number seven. Pitch on the way, and that's going to be high. Okay, I got to catch up here because I'm really confused what we got here. Let me go to this. This is Fisk. Supposed to be Fisk. It's going to be low. And there's two balls to him. One out. Is that right? No, there's two outs. I know there's two outs. So we got that right. Two balls to Colton Fisk, unless there's a... That'll hit him, so hit, Fisk is going to head to two, uh, first base. After being hit by a pitch. And here comes Wyatt Wagner, who hit the uh, solo home run. The leadoff home run. So crossing was a strikeout, was hit by pitch. Okay. So Wagner, top of the order. Hit the home run to open the uh, first pitch, and bam, the high climbers are up 1-0. Now it's 2-0. And a runner at first base for the first baseman. First pitch is outside for ball one. Boy, the wind did kind of change direction and come in from more left. So two out, one on for the high climbers here. Bottom of the second inning. Here's the pitch on the way, swing and a fly ball. Center field this time high, shallow. You'll be under it to grab it, and that'll do it for the high climbers here in their half of the second. They leave one out there. We head to the third. 2 nothing. Shelton, this is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. With all the question marks and uncertainty that surrounds today's real estate market, it is nice to know that there is a local team that has the experience with all types of markets to ensure you make a sound decision, whether selling or buying. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has been a staple in the Mason County community for over 40 years. Feel free to reach out to Jeff, Andy, Chrissy, or Laura with any real estate questions that you may have. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. And we're back here at High Climber Field. Third inning to play, top of the third. And I'm going to turn things over to Aiden Yuta for the play by play. And leading things off will be uh, Taden Martin. Number 11, he's the first baseman. All right. And what did he do? I have no idea. They're not even going to bother because I have that so messed up. Yep. I'll let it leave to you. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul. It says Martin was one for three. Okay. I'm glad you can catch all that stuff. <laughs> Bring the scoreboard back up for everybody. Go ahead. Strike one to start off. Here's the pitch. Swing and miss for strike two for Martin. <laughs> Just 
pick. And that's ball number one to Martin. Count is one to two with no outs. Here's the pitch, swing and another foul. Climbers lead two to nothing here in the top of the third. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. That is out number one for Rochester. That's four strikeouts for Rhodes. Now up is number 13, Henry. Remus Flatcher. That is. Remus Flatcher. That or you can just call him Henry. Name. There we go, Henry. Swing to third base. Getting back to first and got it for the out. For out number two. Now up is number 10, Colton Weiss. 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 Weiss, okay. We'll go with Weiss. All right. Right fielder. His pitch. Swing to the shortstop. Heading back to first and got it for the out. Three up and three down for the Warriors. We'll move to the uh, bottom of the third, the Climbers lead two to nothing. This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a down line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. Back here in Shelton for the bottom of the third inning. We got Turnbow to lead things off for Shelton. Yeah, Carl was hit by a pitch, if I can read his. Uh Jerry's uh, <laughs> writing here. I think it was hit by pitch in the first inning. And did his little dancey dances on the base. Yeah, and he did. Uh, oh, you know what? I might if I get the camera on. Good swing and a foul ball for strike one. Sorry, folks. I'm a little behind. It's not like I'm doing anything, right? Nah, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I have the easy job. For sure. Here's the pitch. Ball one. For Turnbow, one and one count, no outs here in the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch, ball two. Wow, looked like it was coming out as a fastball, but it changed into a changeup and it was a little high. Here's the pitch, swing to the third base, and it will be safe. Yeah. Off the glove of the first baseman, Martin over there. And Turnbow, I'm giving him a hit on that one. There you go. I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Technically, it's an error on the first baseman, but I would rather go with the, uh, the positive. And now up is the shortstop, Austin Williams. Um, I don't know what they, he did get on base, but he's way over to third in the first inning. Go with what we have. That's right. Yeah. Here's the pitch for ball one. Well, I'm sure it makes sense to Jerry. See, everybody does their scorebook differently. That's why I advocate for anybody to do their own. No opinion because I've never been a statistician. No. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. 
I do know he made it away to third, and I think he was caught there. I think he yeah. might have been the one trying to steal home. On a pass ball, I think he got Yeah, he was caught good, trying to come home. That's right. Yeah. I guess that's what that means, that W squiggly line there. Could be. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> no. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Oh, no strike. strike two. I told you this uh, umpire is not as dramatic as most. He's not. He's not yelling. He's just slowly, kind of nonchalant on his just strike does calls. His job. Yeah, he does his job. I'm not. <laughs> not faulting him for that, but he oh, doesn't. No. It's just not very obvious on the strikes. There's the pitch. Ball two. Ooh. And the runner is going to second. Yeah, the throw to first is uh, way and off target. Yeah, and, and yeah. Turnbow's going <laughs> Turnbow almost went to three. Oh, he <laughs> thought about going. I think he's just really excited to play. I don't know. He's been playing quite a bit this season, and I just think he's showing why he's playing yeah. as he's on second base on that error over there at first. So the count's two and two. With no out. Feels like we were here earlier in the game. Yeah. Here's the pitch for ball three. Count goes full to Williams. Runner at second. No outs in the bottom of the third. The Climbers are leading two to nothing against the Warriors. Here's the pitch. And that is ball four. There's a walk for Austin Williams. And now up it's the third baseman, Matt Carlton. And Matt, um, he flew out to uh, left field in his first at bat. If, I, if I'm reading Jerry's writing properly. And there's a meeting at the mound. Yeah. Pitching coach out there. I'm not sure if that's a pitching coach or is that uh, head coach. I think Art it's pitching Bell. coach. I think it's pitching coach. Kind of it showed that everybody take a big sigh, Just take a big deep breath here. We're not in any trouble here. Well, it's early, right? Yeah, very I'm early only still. putting words in his mouth. I have no idea what he's actually saying. <laughs> I just saw him come out there, and he, you could see him do that uh, gesture where he just took a big, big deep breath. Yeah. So the umpire broke up the huddle. And Matt will get a pitch his way, right? All right, Carlton ready to bat. Here's the pitch. Shows bunt. Gets the bunt off to third. And runners are safe. A successful bunt from yeah. Carlton. Well executed, got to tell you. It's hard to execute bunts because yeah. you, you just never know where the ball's going to go. And that will load the bases. Yes, it will. Turnbow on third. Williams at second, Carlton at first, with Brady Rhodes, the pitcher, up to bat. Opportunity for a grand slam. So I'm not really sure what this means for Jerry. I, <laughs> I think he made it to second base on his first at bat in the first middle. All uh, one. First uh, at inning. Bat. Yeah. You notice that I'm putting, I'm putting my body as a <laughs> shadow so I can see what I'm looking at here. Good call. <laughs> His Good. pitch. Swing to third. Foul. And they call it foul. Just foul. Grimmel Spotcher did a good job getting to it, but it was foul. Count goes to one and one. Still no outs here in the bottom of the third. Bases are loaded for the climbers as they lead two to nothing. Rhodes will step off as the catcher will go to the mound for a little chit chat. Yeah, Petrus saw something out there he wanted to convey to Hudson. Here's the 1-1, one, one. ball two, that two and one count. Yeah, Turnbow over there at third, he's gotten into Hudson's head, still in his head. He takes this, to watch him over there at third if you can. He takes a couple of little dancing steps out there. 
Here's the pitch. Ball three. Turnbow shirt's awaiting his turn to sprint. <laughs> he's ready. Yeah, he's ready. He's been ready. <laughs> if you watch all the base runners, Carlton over at first base, he's kind of nonchalant. Williams at second, kind of nonchalant. Turnbow, different story. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing, and that will be a foul. Nope. nope. Brought in by the uh, pitcher. Yeah. Almost a catcher. That will be the first out for the climbers. Base is still loaded, and now the catcher, Jax Ward, is up. And he struck out in the first uh, inning to end the inning. Or no, he didn't end the inning, but he struck out for the second out in the first. Awaiting the pitch. There's the pitch. Swing to the short stop, looking for the double play. Does Come not on. get it. Gets one out though, and a run comes in for Turnbow, making it three to nothing climbing. Bases are still loaded. Or nope, the corners are covered. Yeah. So it's two away, right? Okay. Yep. All right, I'm catching up to you, Hayden. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right. Now the left fielder, Brad Eveland, is up. And another meeting. Yeah, I think we're going to get a pitching change, change at this point as coaches out there talk to the in the field umpire. So runners at the corners. Williams at third and Ward at first. Well, they're going to get a courtesy runner, number 12. I believe that is uh, DePoe. So yeah, runners at the corners. I guess I was wrong, no pitching change here. I guess an explanation about uh, what happened. Yeah. So Evelyn, uh, he struck out. He struck out, guys, so the board is on, makes it. Carlton's out, I'm checking up on this thing. Yeah, Evelyn struck out in the second inning to lead things off. And it's a first official at bat. So here's the pitch. It's a low pitch for ball one. One zero count with two outs and two on. One in. One in. Don't forget that part. Nope. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. Eastland. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing to center. And that is brought in for out number three UBS. So the climbers get one in, leave two on. That will move us to the top of the fourth inning. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, Keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. Hi folks, Dieter McAllen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. Back here in Shelton for the top of the fourth inning. 
Rodriguez, the left fielder, will be leading off at the top of the order. Shelton leads 3 to nothing against the Warriors. Well, I think he let off the game with a hit. I think that's what Perry has down here. I don't know what this little squiggly line is. I really don't know. It's got a line, so I'm thinking that's a that's a base hit. So here's the pitch. Ball one. Might have if I update the right things. Here's the pitch. Swing for strike number one for Rodriguez. One and one count. Pitch, swing, and a miss for strike two. So I that Rodriguez is zero for zero on the. Maybe it's a walk. Oh, maybe oh. that's what that w, that w means, a walk. Oh. Okay. There we go. That makes sense. That's not how I would score it, but okay. There's a pitch, and ball two. Check swing. That makes sense. So I better make a mark there. Put the BB on there. That's what I've always put in. Oh, a BB means a walk? Yeah, oh. base on balls. That makes sense. Here's the pitch, swing. Drops for a third strike. Rodriguez heading to first base. And he's safe. safe. So I'm not really sure how to score that one. Guess a wild pitch? No, no? It's, it, was a it was a drop third strike. Ward needed to get it and tag him or throw oh. to first for the out. Um, but, hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> How about I just write in, dropped, Ball third one. strike. <laughs> okay, sure. Ball one, he says. Okay. Or strike one, I mean. Oh, strike one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm for UBS. His pitch shows bunt, but it's a foul for strike two. No outs in the top of the fourth for the Warriors. Climbers lead three to nothing. Uh, Mason in the first, uh, Mason Ubius in the first, uh, he struck out. Just saying. Right. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Ball one. I'm failing in my duties. You got too much on your plate, though. Well, that's not dinner. I'll tell you that. Nope. His pitch. Swinged for second. Looking for the double play. And did not get it. Got okay. uh, Rodriguez out. UBS is safe at first. That'll make the first out of the fourth inning for the Warriors. And now up is the shortstop. Cornstrom. Cornstrom. Flew out to center field in his uh, first at bat to end the first inning. If I'm reading this right. <laughs> right here's the pitch. Swing to the shortstop. And we'll bring it in. Williams brings it in for out number two. Now up is the catcher, Martin. It's Petrius. 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 Uh, he struck out in the second inning. So two outs for the Warriors. His pitch, ball one. Oh, we called him. I caught him Ooh. on the outside corner. See? Strike one. Yeah, I thought it was a ball two, but the uh, umpire made some noise. Yep. Here's bit. Now it's a ball one. One and one count for Petri. Here's pitch. Oh, right two. Rhodes has a uh, sinker that just comes in high and sinks at the, the definition of a sinker. Sinks Literally. into the uh, strike zone at the last second. It's in the name. 
Yeah. Here's the pitch. Make that ball two, and UB is going to second. Two and two count with two outs, a lot of twos. Triple two. And uh, meeting at the mound between Ward and Rhodes. Let's see, Rhodes is doing quite to. Uh, I think he's only really giving up the one hit. One, two, three, four, four strikeouts so far. Unofficial, of course. His pitch. Swing and a foul. I'm glad you caught that because it looked like he completely missed it to me. <laughs> but the way it bounced up, must have had some contact. Yeah. His pitch. And that is strike three. Rochester leaves one on, and we'll move to the bottom of the fourth. This is Mason Left TV, powered by HCC. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-96. 70 extension 400. Back here in high climber state or field for the bottom of the fourth. The climbers lead three to nothing against Rochester. And leading off for the climbers will be the right fielder Daniel Crossan. I believe he struck out in the he strike out. No, that's a oh I can't even read my own writing. That's my no, that's a strikeout. Okay. We'll give him a strike out, strike out in the uh, second inning. Right. I'm saying I don't know. What does it say there? I don't know. So Hudson's still on the mound. I yeah. wonder how long he's going to go here. This is not out of hand by any means. The ball of the game that is. Here's the pitch. Ball one. One-zero count to Crossan. Pitch, swing and a foul. No, that's a oh, fair no. ball. No, it's a foul ball. No, I don't think Crossan knows. <laughs> and now he knows. <laughs> <laughs> he was so into running. That I, I don't know. I would argue that one is fair because it went on the out. From my angle, it looked like it went on the outside of the bag. But uh, that will make it strike one. Almost the leadoff double. And we have something going on in that far corner. Looks like Rodriguez is, uh, is he stuck in the fence? I think his cleat got stuck in the fence out there. Just so people know, the outfield is uh, grass. The infield is uh, turf. So they can play, they can have some, uh, some spikes on out there. And I think uh, Rodriguez had his uh, foot stuck in the fence and he had to remove his foot <laughs> to get the uh, shoe out of the fence. That's what it looks like to me. You can't see it, you're too far to, to the left. Yeah. But I, you know, it looks like he was trying to get his foot off. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Very that's the shoe gets caught me. in the, I'm only assuming that's what happens because he's tying his shoe yeah. out like a, there. Like a spike of his cleat got or stuck. Something, I don't know. 
That is unusual, to say the least. <laughs> there is also a first for everything. We do have a timeout. I don't have that sheet. Never mind, I won't read anything because I don't know what I did with that other sheet. Oh, you mean that sheet over there? This one. Yeah, that one. If you're enjoying this broadcast, please give us a like on your favorite social media. You can uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I mean, X with the handle at Mason Web TV. You can also use that handle to find us on YouTube and Twitch. Consider subscribing to Mason Web TV's YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified the next time we upload a video or go live like we are right now. Yeah. Back, to, back to Aiden. <laughs> one and one count. Here's pitch, swing, and a foul. Out of play. Strike two. One and two count with no outs for Crossan. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Two and two count. Clamors lead three to nothing against the Warriors. Here's the pitch. And ball three. Count goes full for Crossan. Here's the pitch, swing to center. UBS looks to bring it in, and he does for out number one. And now up, the center fielder, Colton Fisk. And Colton was a hit by a pitch in the second inning. One out, no on for the climber in the bottom of the fourth. Getting the practice pitches in. Oh, it's a strike. Oh, I was not paying attention. <laughs> well, strike again, one. This umpire does not give us a good signal. And ball one. Only well, reason I knew that was a strike is because he actually said something, and then he made a motion. One and one count for Fisk with one out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Wagner on deck. His pitch, swing, a short stop, and out number two. Got back to Martin at first base. And now up is the first baseman, Wyatt Wagner. I'll take the graphics here. Wagner, of course, hit the home run to lead things off. The whole game, first pitch. Here's pitch. Ball one. He did uh, a fly out in the second inning, too. Here's pitch for ball two. No, strike one. Yeah, you got to wait with this young guy, this umpire. Yeah. His pitch, ball two, two and one count, two outs. No one on base for the climbers. Seventy-two, or 73 pitches for Haston. This will be the 74th. His pitch, and ball three. Four ball or oh, strike, strike two. Wow. Count goes full with two out to Wagner. His pitch. And that is ball four. That is a walk. Wyatt Wagner walked. Good tongue twister. And now up is the second baseman. Turnbow. Yeah, Carl, uh, well, he hit, I gave him a base hit in the third inning. Uh, he was hit by a pitch in the first.
This pitch for strike one. Working that outside corner. I'm sure uh, Tyler Hudson does not want Turnbow back on base. No. <laughs> His pitch. Runner going to second, and he is out. Wagner is out, and that will do it for the fourth inning. The Climbers still lead three to nothing. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Back here at High Climber Field for the uh, top of the fifth inning. The Warriors will lead off with Hudson. Yeah, Tyler Hudson, the pitcher, uh, struck out the second inning. All right. It's like uh, Brady Rhodes, Rhodes still, still on the mound. There. Yeah. All right. Good for him. He has been doing a great job. Yeah. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Rogues has 52 pitches. This will be his 53rd on the day. His pitch. Strike one. Yeah, they're working that outside corner pretty well. Both pitchers, by the way. It's their favorite zone to throw this game. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Two and one count for Hudson with no outs. Here in the top of the fifth. Climbers still lead three to nothing. Here's pitch. Check swing for ball three. Oh, why you're on appeal, make sure it didn't go on that, but. Here's pitch. And that is a lead off walk for Hudson. Now up is the second baseman, Smith. Yeah, Smith. yeah he uh, flew out in the second inning. So one on, no out for the Warriors with no outs. This pitch. Ball one. One O oh count for Smith. Low coach meeting with the outfield arm. Picking up again. Oh, I don't think I've seen uh, a lot of. Uh, oh, they're asking what is a balk. He, uh, Coach Kornstrom thinks that uh, Rhodes balked, whereas the umpire is saying no, he didn't. That's what it seems like. That's my assessment of what they're talking about out there. I, I'm, only, I'm only going off of body language. I, have I ain't no idea. got a clue. Well, yeah. Either that or say, you know, hey, hey you want to go to that restaurant downtown when I'm done? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. I, don't, I doubt that. Count is one to zero for Smith. Yeah. Oh, that's me making the noise. Here's 
pitch. Strike one. To Smith. First pitch. Ball two. Run from back to first and Hudson is sixth. Tried to pick him off. Yeah, it was a good heads up play by Ward. Saw that, uh, who was out there? Uh, Hudson had uh, kind of stopped on his run there and wasn't getting back fast enough, but he did. Here's the 2 1. Swing. Ground ball. Ground ball to second. To first. Hudson advances to second. Smith to first for a single. Now up is the third baseman, Henry. I'm not even going to try with the last name. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. This is Martin, isn't it? Number 11. Tayden Martin is the batter. Number 11. Um, I'm ahead of myself. Yeah, you're ahead. <laughs> the first baseman, Martin, is up. There we go. Tayden Martin. Yeah, he uh, struck Henry's out. on deck. There he, yeah. Martin struck out in the third. There we go. Pitch is a ball. One and O count with two on for the Warrior. Here's pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. A home run would tie this game up here in the top of the fifth. True. Quick math. Quick math, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Here's the pitch. Check swing for ball two. And that pitch was a bit high. And Martin did not go completely. He wanted to. He thought about it. Yeah. Here's the pitch. There's a low one for ball three. Three and one count with no outs. Hudson at second, Smith at first. Henry's on deck. And now a meeting at the mound. Yeah, timeout. Pitching coach coming out, talking to Rhodes. 64 pitches for Brady Rhodes today. So far. So far. I think, uh, what was... Uh, Hudson was up there 70-something, wasn't he? He won't say on that, I don't think. No. I don't think it'll say, but he was in the 70s, I believe. 78 pitches. 78, oh, oh higher than I even thought. Yeah. So some fist bumps out there, and back to play. Just a little chitter-chatter. Well, I'll make sure everything's calm and collected. And, and cool. Cool, yeah. You cool? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, three balls, one strike for Martin. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul for strike two. The count goes full with two on and no outs. Yeah, Martin's looking for that home run ball, it looks like, the way he's swinging. He's listening to you, Aiden. <laughs> you can hear me. Here's the pitch. And... Strike. Out. Strike three wow. for out number one for Martin. Wow. Now the third baseman, Henry, is up to bat. Yeah, Henry <laughs> Remschmelschmeck. Remschmelschmeck. Remschmeck. I've got no idea. <laughs> well, Henry it is. Make it easier for us. And another meeting. Now the this might be a pitching change as... Rhodes may have reached his limit for today. As uh, Coach uh, Trevor Cahoon, yeah. yep, taking the ball from uh, Rhodes. So who's going to come in is the question. I think it's going to be Austin Williams. And that should descend. If it goes as it is, Rhodes would go to first. Wagner would go to second, and Williams would come in. Really? No, they're not. They're going to bring in Crossan Rhodes from, out the... from outfield. From the outfield. Rhodes with a great day. Yeah, he did. One hit allowed in four innings. No runs either. 
And I'll see one, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts. So Crossan will come in, so we'll, we'll uh, let uh, Daniel do his warm-ups. We'll step aside. It's a TV powered by HCC. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources and connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. We all depend on them for medical emergencies, to keep our highways safe, and to get back on the road. And emergency responders depend on us to watch for them, to slow down and move over, we do it for the people out there taking the risks while helping others, and the people who care about them. Because most of us agree that we all share a responsibility for safety on our roads. New pitcher for Shelton, it is the right fielder Daniel Crossan yeah, taking Cro over. Yeah, Crossan pitched uh, two and a third innings against WF West last Tuesday, three runs, two earned, five hits, two strikeouts, no walks. In a couple of innings. Let's see how he does here. Yep. Exactly. Got his warm up pitchers done. Now for the real deal. Henry. Henry. Admiral Smucker. Yeah. <laughs> and we apologize. We're not making fun of your name. It's just one of those names. First pitch is a ball. Well, that's a fastball, though. Wow. That was a fastball. Literally fastball. Yeah. <laughs> One out, two on for the Warriors. Here's the pitch. Swing. A little ground out. And gets Hudson out. A little collision. Well, a little bit of acting there. It was a nice play by Williams to get it over to uh, uh, Carlton at third, and he just tagged out the runner. Smith advances to second. Two outs now. Runner at first. Runner at first. Yeah. Sorry. Smith at second, Henry at first, and now up is the right fielder, Colton Weiss. He ground out in the third. Strike one. Fun fact, both uh, Colton Weiss and Colton Fisk have the same name. <laughs> I was trying well, to say something else, but that's what came out. Yeah, okay. They both, yeah, they both play in the outfield. Yeah. Ball one. I was trying to say both final uh, hitters. First name is Colton. Okay. There we go. In the bottom of the order. Yeah, okay. That's what you're trying to get to. All right. Makes sense to me. <laughs> one and one count with two outs and two on for the Warriors. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul for strike two. Once again, home run will tie this game up. <laughs> in the fifth. You just want to call a tight game. That's what it is. You just want some, some drama. I want to call the home. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing to center. And then it will oh. be caught what a by play. Wagner. What a catch that for out a, number three. Is that Wagner out there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wagner's center. Fisk is right. That will do it for the top of the fifth. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. 
Hi folks, Dietrich McAllen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. Back here at Shelton Field for the bottom of the fifth. Tigers, or not Tigers, High Climbers still lead three to nothing. I don't know where I got Tigers from. Are you thinking about Centralia maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I guess so. So leading things off will be Carl Turnbow. Uh, he had, I gave him a hit in the third inning. He was hit by a pitch in the first. Hudson still on the mound. Surprising. Yeah. Here's the pitch. And strike one. Wow. Wish this home plate umpire would be more dramatic. <laughs> yes. Here's the pitch, and that's ball number one. That was an easy call. Yes. Pretty low. Not low enough for my turf ball then. <laughs> I need to get at least one in today. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. Austin Williams is on deck. Eighty pitchers for Hudson. This will be eighty-one, and then all two, two and two count for Turnbow. No out. Here's the pitch. Swing to the left. That is a leadoff single for Carl Turnbow. Now up is the shortstop, Austin Williams. Williams walked in the third. And it looks like he walked in the uh, first as well. That's back in Cherry's writing, so. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. Should get a pencil out because I just made a mistake. There's the pitch for ball one. One zero count with no outs. Turnbow at first for the climber. His pitch shows bunt for ball two. Yeah, well, he did a good job holding that bat back. Got it back just in time. Yeah. Turnbow doing his dancey dance again. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Yeah, trying to get that outside corner. This side a little harder to get from this uh, home plate umpire for some reason. Here's the pitch. Yeah, he got it. He hit that Strike corner. One. Yeah, he hit that corner that time. Finally three. found the location. Three and one count. No outs for Williams. Turnbow at first. Here's the pitch. And that is ball four. That was a strike. Or strike two. Wow. Well, he just yeah. thought it was a uh, ball. I, yeah. Count goes full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul to the left. Yeah, off the mini dome again. Closer to the new weight room, actually, but relatively new weight room. It's been a couple of years now. Can't really call it new, can we? It's been, I think, three years. <laughs> Can't really call it new. Here's the pitch. There's the ball. Ball four, a walk. Turnbow advances to second. Austin Williams goes to first. And now up is the third baseman, Matt Carlton. And Matt, let's see here. He flew out in the third, walked in the first. Nope, I'm, nope, sorry. Had a base hit in the third. Flew out in the first, handed backwards. So two on, no out for the climbers. They lead three to nothing in the top, or bottom of the fifth, my bad. This pitch shows bunt, and there's a foul. Strike one. 
you really wanted a bunt there. He's probably doing what the coach told him. Go out get, there and bunt. <laughs> get on base. That's probably what it was. Get on base, load the bases. Yes. For rubs. Right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting words in Trevor Cahoon's mouth. <laughs> no idea what he says in that dugout. Oh. That's interesting. This pitch and a bunt for foul. Very interesting that uh, Kornstrom kind of went from <laughs> he's a shortstop. He kind of made a curl around Turnbow yeah. into the infield and then went over to they really cover want to third. Continue. And Graham Sprecher came in to cut, uh, come in for the bunt. Very interesting. No balls, two strikes for Carlton with no outs. Shift is on. His pitch. Swing to left. It'll drop in for a hit. Turnbow advances to third. Williams to second. And a single for Matt Carlton. Now up is the first baseman, Brady Rhodes. Has another chance for a grand slam. Been in this uh, situation a couple times. Hopefully they got Denny's on speed dial. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. <laughs> It's a great situation. Bases loaded with no outs. At least for the climbers it is. Here's the pitch. Swing the left and out of play. Out is of it? play is potentially. It? It's out of here. It's out of here. It's a home run. And that is a grand slam. You better call up Danny's. We got an order for delivery. The lead is now seven to nothing, Shelton. That ball looked like it was going to drop in foul. I don't know how it hung in the air and went over 330 feet over the fence, just about 10 feet inside the pole. Clear those bases. Wow. Cleaned their plates off real fast with that one. Wow. And now we're meeting at the mound. I'd assume that Hudson's time might be up for the day. Or at least pitching wise. Looks that way. Got a guy coming into the dugout. And let's see who would that be. Taden Martin maybe coming out? I don't know. We'll see. There's paper everywhere. Oh my goodness. Never have enough paper. <laughs> too much paper today. Let's put this over here so it doesn't blow away. Yeah, that's good. Jax Ward will come to hit whenever the meeting is done. Well, I think we're going to have a pitching change, and let's see. i I got to figure out who is going to be what, because number one is out there, and number one is Rodriguez, but uh, he might be heading to first base maybe, because it looks like the pitcher will be uh, Taden Martin. Looks oh, to be. Yep. Yeah. All right. Getting his uh, practice pitches in. Now let's take a step uh, aside here. It's Mason Web TV powered by HCC. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. I'm an ex-drug dealer, and I'll be your sub today. <laughs> Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. A lethal dose is in here. Who gets it, I won't know. It's cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. The sad reality is fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. More kitchen now. Back here in Shelton. New pitcher for the Warriors. It is Tayden Martin. And Hudson goes to 
first. Actually, like... no, it's Rodriguez, isn't it? Number one's over at first. Oh. Yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, it's uh, Ethan Rodriguez at first. I don't know what the outfield is now. Uh, uh, UBS is center. Weas is right. Still says Rodriguez is left. It says Hudson oh, yeah. is at first. But uh, I don't think so. They must have it because that's the number one and a big tall guy out there. It's not Hudson. Right, Jack Ward is up after that Brady Rhodes Grand Slam. Yeah. Pitched a great game and gets a Grand Slam. Yeah, that's a pretty good good afternoon for him, I think. Yeah. So Jack Ward had a uh, base hit in the third and struck out in the first. All right. The way I read the writing here. All right, here's the first pitch from Martin. Ball one. Brad Eveland on deck. Swing the left. Drop in. And then it drops in for a base hit for Jack Ward. So Brad Evelyn comes up, um, flew out in the third, struck out in the second. Sorry, I'm taking over. Taking your thunder here. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm playing Jerry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. One on, no outs for the climbers. His pitch, swing to right. Ground ball. Ground ball and Ward advances to second. Evelyn to first. Yeah, Rodriguez couldn't get to that ball. It was uh, just rolling up there slowly. Nobody could get to it and it gets into uh, right field. Wow. And now up is the pitcher, Daniel Crossan. No, nope. uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was thinking something else. Uh, Crossan flew out in the fourth. I think he struck out in the second. His pitch shows bunt, gets bunt. Runners advance, and Evelyn is out. So Ward to third, and Evelyn to second. But and he did his job. And getting, now the, getting the runners into scoring, two runners into scoring position. And now up is number four. Four. I don't have anything. Number on. four. That's a good question. Hmm. Might be Jaycott. It'll come up eventually, right? Yeah. I'm thinking it's Jaycott. It still says Colton Fisk, but that's, that's definitely not Fisk. No, that's not Colton by any means. It also says that Depoe was at third. Maybe we missed a courtesy runner. Oh, yeah, we did. That it is to Poe out there at third. Okay. I was getting confused. <laughs> yeah, we still don't know who's at bat, but okay. Uh, yeah, it says uh, Madison. Oh, Matt, Boston Madison. Okay. Here's the pitch. And strike one. Boston Madison. I have some stats on him. Okay, Here's look. pitch. Ball one. Oh, it's 0 for 1. Yesterday. <laughs> so All there right. you go. There you go. He was wearing number it, seven yesterday. Something at least. Okay. One and one count, one out. Here's the pitch. Swing to the third base line. Throws to first and gets the out. Runner comes in to Poe for a, a run. Makes it eight to nothing. Climbers over the Warriors and Evelyn advances to third. Wyatt Wagner now up. Well, he uh, hit the home run to lead off the game. It's been quiet since. It's a pitch. And a ball one. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Evelyn at third, and there's two outs for Wagner. One in. One in. 
and a 2-0 count. Here's the pitch. And the ball three tried to pick off Eveland. Got back in time. Yeah, Eveland kind of dove back in there. Henry kind of almost stumbled over him trying to get to the ball. So three and O count with two outs now for Wyatt Wagner. Here's the pitch. And strike one. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. That loads the count. Her count goes full. I like loads the count. That's a new term. I like that one. Yeah. Loads the count, loads the base. Yeah, it works. Here's the pitch. Swing the first baseline. And it's a race. And out. that is an out. Rodriguez gets the first base first. So the climbers get five points. Four coming from a Brady Rhodes Grand Slam. Climbers lead eight to nothing as we advance to the sixth inning. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. Getting unneeded medications out of the home can help prevent misuse, abuse, and accidental poisoning. The Drug Take Back program provides consumers with a safe means for disposing of unused, unneeded, and expired prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Mason County has 10 prescription drug take back boxes at various pharmacies and tribal locations. For more information, go to medtakebackwashington.org. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. Back here at High Climber Field for the start of the sixth inning. Leading off will be the left fielder, Ethan Rodriguez, who is playing first base now. Right. Um, okay, I got it. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. That's my scribble, isn't it? No, that's Jerry's. Uh, well, he walked in the first, I know that. <laughs> Crossing still on the mound. Climbers lead eight to nothing. Had a very busy fifth inning. Yeah. At the top of the order for the Warriors. Here's the pitch. And ball one. Nice. Strike one. You gotta wait for this guy to, to get into a motion. Yeah, the I haven't quite figured him out yet. Here's the 0-1. Ball one. A little high. One and one count for Rodriguez. Yeah, here's pitch. Swing to left. Going back. And it is brought in by the left fielder, Brad Eveland. For out number one, flew out. And now up is the center fielder, Mason Ubias. 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 Uh, let's see here. So he had a uh, base hit in the fourth, struck out in the first. Did Ubias. Pitch for ball one. Here's the 1 0. Strike one. One out, no on for UBS in the top of the six. Here's the pitch. Ball two. 
two and one count. On deck is the shortstop Tate Cornstrom. Cornstrom. Here's the pitch. Swing to the first baseline. Brady gets it. And a race to the finish and crossing gets the out. Or is he safe? He's out. He's out. Okay. He's out. Good place, good cover. Good by hustle. crossing, yeah. For the out, first base. Rhodes. Good play by uh, yeah. Rhodes. Had to Rhodes. Like dive for that one. Yeah. Now up is the shortstop, Tate Kornstrom. Kornstrom, let's see here. He flew out in the third. Okay, I guess he. Flew out to uh, to center. Pitch. Ball one. Actually, strike, strike one. Yeah, sorry. It's one of those times where he just doesn't give you the. You got you to listen to him a little bit. Yep. Sometimes. Just sometimes. His pitch. Ball one. <laughs> one and one count with two outs. Should I bring up the crowd mic a little more? Or maybe we can hear him. I don't know. That, that, that would help. Yeah. Yeah, I'd get a lot of pool pump noise, too. Yeah. Hit to center. That'll drop in for a base hit. Korstrom is thinking about going for two, but he will stay with a base hit. Wyatt Wagner bringing it in. Now up is the catcher. Hayden Petrus. Hayden Petrus. He struck out in his two previous times at bat. Two outs, one on for the Warriors. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul for strike one at the top of the six. Long strikes, man. Very long. <laughs> over the, uh, over the, Oh, no, the, the batting cage between the uh, clubhouse and the hitting area. His pitch. Swing, and it's a, a fair, fair ball. ball. Fair ball. The third baseline. That's of course, drum coming home. And the Warriors get their first point on yeah. the board. It's a run, not a point, but okay. Run. Get the terminology right. So that's an RBI double for uh, Petrus. I'll bring up the uh, Taylor Houston. He walked in the fifth, struck out in the second. Petrus to second. With two outs, swing and a foul. No balls, one strike, and two outs. One on, and one in. His pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. 0 and 2 count now for Hudson. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that is the third out. So the Warriors get one in before their three out. Now we'll move to the bottom of the six. The Climbers lead eight to one. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Hi folks, Dietrich Allen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball, 
we bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. Back here at High Climber Field for the bottom of the sixth inning. Climbers lead eight to one. And uh, Turnbow, is, Carl Turnbow will lead things off. I, I, I gotta point this out. The catcher uh, was uh, slow in getting out because he had to put on all his gear. So the pitcher for uh, for Rochester was thrown to third base for a couple of his warm-up tosses. Very interesting. I have never seen that before. Which is very interesting to me. All right, Carl turned out of the And Carl, let's see, he had a base hit in the fifth, had a base hit in the third, and was hit by a bitch. And the uh, first, that's what I have. Of course, it's all unofficial, right? Yes. First pitch, Whoa. a little, <laughs> little wobbly for a well, ball one. I don't know what that was throwing. He was throwing to me, I think. I think it left his hand a little bit too late. Yeah, I might have slipped out of his hand. Not intentional by any means. Nope. The home plate umpire wants a few more balls. Here's pitch. Ball two, 2-0 two count. Return bow. Here's the pitch for strike number one. Two and one count. Make that ball three. Three and one count for turn bow. No outs in the bottom of six. Austin Williams is on deck. Here's the pitch. And strike two. Count goes full for Turnbow. Yeah, crowd behind us liked that pitch. Turnbow thought it was a ball. Here's the pitch. Oh. And Got hit him in the shoulder. Turnbow hit by pitch again. So Austin Williams comes up. He walked in the third, walked in the, I'm sorry, walked in the fifth, walked in the third. <laughs> in the first. Done a lot of walking. Yeah. <laughs> I need a little rest. Yeah. His pitch. All one. Turnbow at first. Here's the pitch. And Turnbow gets back to first just in time. Like that ball two for Williams. Turnbow's not really taking much of a lead over there at first. Now he gets into it. There he goes, dancing away. Spoke too soon. I did. Here's the pitch for ball two. Ball three. three. Previous pitch was a ball. They didn't post it on the board yet, but that's ball three. Oh, was that a strike? Okay. Now it's ball three. Now it's ball three, one strike. I had that. Okay. Getting confused. Yeah, not, I didn't see anything or hear anything from our home plate umpire on that strike. Three and one count. Here's the pitch. And is that a strike? Well, they're sending Turnbow to uh, second base. I heard that hit the bat. Because a foul ball. Um, confused, the infield uh, umpire sent uh, Turnbow to second. Now some chatter up here, some I meet at the mound. I, oh, he's gonna call a balk? Again? I don't know how you can call a balk on a pitch. That was a foul tip. Yeah. 
They're going to call that a balk. I don't know how you can get a balk out of a pitch. <laughs> well, the count is uh, three and one. Uh, that's what it says on the board. It says it here, too. Does it? Well, there's there's pit. Ground ball. Ground ball. Ground up to first. No, that should be a foul ball. Okay. <laughs> well, there's out number. Out number one. Williams grounds out to first. Turnbow advances third. to third. And now up is the third baseman, Matt Carlton. Okay. All right, so Matt, see, he had a base hit in the fifth and the third and flew out in the first. By my notes. Here's pitch. Strike one. Strike one. One out for the climbers and one on Turnbow at third after a very interesting event. <laughs> Officially, I guess it was a ball, okay, I don't know. Here's the pitch. Strike, Strike two. two. Hit that outside corner again. The corner I can't see at all. <laughs> the corner I can somewhat see. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul ball. Owen two count, one out, one on Turnbull at third for Carlton. Chance to gather more insurance runs. Well, two runs would uh, put that, well, I guess it would be three runs, wouldn't it? This pitch swing to the shortstop. Gets the first, and that is an out. But Turnbow brings a point, or a run in. Makes it nine to one now, Shelton. Carlton grounded out to first. Out number two, and now up is the first baseman, Brady Rhodes, who had a grand slam. Yep. Here's the pitch for ball one. Here's the pitch. Ball, or strike one. Hit that outside corner again. One ball, one strike, two outs. Bases are empty for Rhodes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul, potentially. Nope, that is brought in by Rodriguez. That'll end the inning. That'll end the inning. The climbers add another run onto the board, making it nine to one as we head to the seventh and final inning for the Warriors to gather eight points. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. With all the question marks and uncertainty that surrounds today's real estate market, it is nice to know that there is a local team that has the experience with all types of markets to ensure you make a sound decision, whether selling or buying. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has been a staple in the Mason County community for over 40 years. Feel free to reach out to Jeff, Andy, Chrissy, or Laura with any real estate questions that you may have. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Now you can go. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. We're in the seventh and final inning of play. The Climbers lead 9-1 to one against the Warriors. And Cole Smith, the second baseman, will lead things off. Let's see here. Cole had a base hit in the fifth inning. Flew out in the second. Crossing will finish things up. 
potentially. I got to stand now. And here's the pitch. Or strike one. I won one count to Smith. Here's pitch. Swing and a foul for strike two. Fouled it back to the dugout. <laughs> the coach is still running that ball down. Count is 0 and 2 with no outs. Here's the pitch. Swinged. The shortstop and is brought in by Austin Williams for out number one. And now up is the pitcher, Tayden Martin. Okay, Martin, let's see here. Struck out, struck out. <laughs> so he struck out twice. One out, no on for the Warriors. Here's the pitch. Swing to right. Madison bringing it in for out number two. And now up is the third baseman, Henry. They had a base hit in the uh, fifth inning, the ground out in the third. I just want to go back to uh, Madison's play out there. He spun around about three times before he got that ball to glove it. Doing a little spinny spin. Yeah, that was a good move, trying to keep his eye on it. Get under it. Here's the pitch. Swing. Carlton picks it up and gets it to Brady Rhodes, and that will do it. The High Climbers beat the Rochester Warriors with a final score of 9-1. to one. We'll take a break. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a down line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. The first rule of storage is keep out of reach of children. Ease of access is the number one reason youth misuse recreational or prescription drugs. Store your medication, vape, edibles, or cannabis products in their original child-proof bottles with original labels if possible. Keep them locked up. Store your medicine, tobacco, or cannabis products in a locked cabinet, locked drawer, or in a bag like this with a lock. For more information, visit locksavelives.org or call Mason County Public Health at 360-427-96. 70 extension 400. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Mason County is a very special place. When you're looking for sound real estate advice, pick the team that has called Mason County home for five generations. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate is always thrilled to help you buy or sell real estate in our area. Whether it is Hood Canal, Harstein Island, Matlock, Tahuya, South Puget Sound, or Shelton, the Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate has the experience you can trust. Remember, when it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Well, it's a final here at uh, High Climber Field. Shelton High Climbers avenged their loss from yesterday, taking out the uh, Rochester Warriors. Was it 9-1? And yeah, they nine split the series. Yeah, they split the season series. Um, no, this is what I was going to look at here. So we got go. some, no, no totals just yet on the official stats. But the big thing, well, you had the leadoff home run by Wyatt Wagner. And then the grand salami by Brady Rhodes. Um, yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty impressive. And they 
did it officially with only seven hits. So nine runs on seven hits. So that's that's quite uh, interesting. Turnbow, Carl Turnbow, yeah, one for two, scored four runs, and he was just a bother for the pitching staff out there. Got, made just, sure he got in their heads yeah, early. Yeah, and early it on, yeah. Uh, what else can I talk about here? Pitching, Rhodes, four and a third innings, one hit, no runs. Two walks, seven strikeouts. Crossing, two and two-thirds innings. Two hits, one run, one earned run, one strikeout. Not too bad for him on an outing. For the uh, Warriors, let's see here. Well, Martin had the RBI. I mean, High Climbers held the Warriors to only three hits. So Kornstrom had one hit, Martin had the RBI, and Smith had a hit. They're pitching uh, Hudson four innings, seven runs, five earned on five hits, five walks, and two strikeouts. Martin in relief, two innings, uh, two earned runs, two hits, uh, zeros on balls, uh, walks, and strikeouts. So a good way to bounce back from a very disappointing uh, loss for the high climbers. And yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts there, Aiden? So try to put something down without <laughs> dropping it. What are your thoughts? Uh, Brady played a very excellent game, pitching and hitting. Climbers, they, they got their revenge, yeah, practically. They, the only way to put it. The only way to put it. <laughs> so next up for the High Climbers, they have a non-conference game at Tumwater on Friday. Now, it's a non-conference game. Don't know why, but they do this every once in a while. Uh, the Warriors return home Friday. Uh, did I say that the High Climber Tom Water game is Friday? It's Friday. Yes. At uh, Tom Water, Warriors return home Friday for a doubleheader against Black Hills. I believe that first game is at 3.30, and the one was fall about 6, approximately. Uh, our next broadcast is tomorrow when the North Mason Fast Pitch Softball team hosts Kingston. First pitch is 4.15, and I guess I'm doing that one by myself. Jerry's not available. Aiden's not available. So i got to lug myself and all the equipment up to Belfair. Well, my thanks to Aiden Yu for calling the bulk of that game. Good job, buddy. Uh, Jerry Apple for his help in, as he always does, get the rosters and then, you know, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Great game festivities. Yeah, appreciate Jerry. So the final score again, Shelton 9, Rochester 1. We'll talk to you tomorrow from Belfair. Thanks for checking us out here on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, was made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason County Public Health and Human Services Prevention Education Partners Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, helping provide prescription drug kickback boxes in Mason County and providing lockable bags for your prescription drugs, cannabis, and vape products. Mason County PUD 3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. The Conklin team at Windermere Real Estate. When it comes to real estate, nothing compares to local knowledge. Mason County PUD number 1, Washington State's first public utility district, providing safe, reliable, and valued utility services since 1934. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Thanks for watching Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.